Hello, I am Melissa Agos, and welcome to this presentation, which will review data that span six years from the Clark County School District in Georgia. Every spring, the Criterion Reference Competency Tests, abbreviated CRCT, are administered to students in Georgia. The CRCT is designed to measure how well students acquire the skills and knowledge described in the Georgia Performance Standards. Students are tested in reading, English language arts, and mathematics. This summary will concentrate on the reading results. It is given every spring to students in grades 1 through 8, and the students included in this study were 1st through 8th graders during the time of the study. Students who used the Fast Forward products generally started with the Fast Forward Language or Fast Forward Literacy series with students then progressing through the Fast Forward Reading series. Students started on the products during different years, with some starting as early as the 2006-2007 school year, and others starting as late as the 2010-2011 school year. A longitudinal study is a type of study that follows the same subjects over time. The next graph will show longitudinal results from Clark County. This graph shows the changes in scale score on the CRCT reading test. Anything below zero indicates a drop in score, whereas anything above zero indicates an increase in score. The first wave of fast-forward participants at Clark County, shown by the blue line, started using the products in the fall of 2006 and made statistically significant improvements on the spring 2007 CRCT with continued improvements in 2008 and the following years. Students in the second wave, shown in the purple, started using the products in the fall of 2007 and made statistically significant improvements on the spring 2008 CRCT. The first part of the line is dashed to indicate that students did not use the products during that period. The green line represents the group that started in the 2008 school year. The dashed green line shows scores prior to fast forward use. After students started to use the products, however, the group's CRCT scores significantly increased and then continued to go up. Similarly, students who started in 2009, shown by the red line, and 2010, shown by the orange, also started to show increases in their reading scores after fast-forward participation. Each cohort exhibits a similar pattern in that after fast-forward participation started, on average, the group showed a steady increase in their CRCT reading scores with each passing year. Looking at the students who started using Fast Forward products in 2010, there was an increase in the percentage of students reaching reading proficiency. 55% of students who were not proficient in 2010 crossed the proficiency threshold in 2011. In addition to longitudinal results, data were also analyzed for certain demographic groups, including students who were receiving special education services and students with limited English proficiency. Both groups achieved statistically significant improvements on the CRCT reading test after fast-forward participation. Thank you for your time. With any questions regarding the results from the demographic groups in this study, or with any questions on any other fast-forward study, please feel free to contact our customer service team.